Welcome to first and only SaaS News Digest featured on LinkedIn, covering news, events, and updates that are happening in the SaaS community worldwide. Let's kick off today with some quality advice on how to see more growth when it comes to software as a service. The market is notoriously difficult to break in, especially when it comes to pandemic over last year. And the writer Melissa Blanken took a closer look at the lessons that came with 2020 and how you can use those lessons to work wonders with your company. But before you start working on the marketing, Blanken advises you to get your house in order. Did you clean up all your processes a bit? Maybe take a look at the true things you need to make your company soar. In most cases, some light tweaking can streamline your company process and get better results. Company processes aside, it's time to spend more time on CEO, also known as search engine optimization. This is the use of keywords and blog posts to enhance your company presence in Google search results. Another thing you should do is enhance your content with company mix with data that your company acquires. An example of it, if you notice that top sales are from California on a consistent basis, mention that. People love to see transparency in companies. And of course, you can also have and remember to bring in human element to your strategy. Many companies are now doing hybrid marketing elements that bring both online and in-person engagements. It's nice to put a face to a person, isn't it? And getting this all together can be hassle, which is why Blanken also advises using collaboration tools. You might be wondering what her final bit of advice was. Well, it's simple. At the end of the day, your brand is your mission. The more you amplify your brand mission, the better off you will be. And now, that's some of the advice we can all take advantage of. And our next segment focuses on making your SaaS more resilient in a world of churn. Churn is the term that used to say that rate at which customers stop doing business with a particular service. And let's face it all, our market is pretty heavy when it comes to churn. Is there any way to reduce the churn on your company? Well, it depends on what you do. Jen Spencer from Forbes offer up some valuable advice. And if you notice a lot of churn, it's time to hit a pause button. It's good time to reevaluate and rework your software to become more marketable. And sometimes it's a matter of marketing. If it's a matter of marketing, now would be a good time to repurpose your content to get new eyes. Educating the masses can help keep clients on board. A good marketing campaign plus educational tools to help them better use their software are both vital here. And of course, Sometimes it's not marketing that's causing the churn. Sometimes it's the market itself. A little bit of foresight can help you make decisions to prevent this issue. And the current trend in the software as a service is to make your platform a one-stop shop, or at least make it integratable with the major players. Losing even one major client can spell various troubles for many up-and-coming SaaS companies. A little bit of preparation can help to avoid that issue. I hope you enjoyed SAS News Digest. The SAS News Digest belongs to all of us and provides the value to members of our community because of you. So please click like or insightful button and share Digest on your LinkedIn page. And let's work together developing this community and setting new SAS global standards. My name is Arden Gassan. I'm the general partner at SAS Growth Ventures. And my superpower is I feel growth and revenue for companies. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.